Hello everyone, I'm Adriana and today with the help of Leonardo we are going to quickly diagnose the Huawei P20 Pro. According to our customer, the device comes from another workshop without a solution. Let's see how we can make good money in less than 20 minutes. Many people work 8 hours to generate this income, but we can do it in 10 or 20 minutes. We'll proceed to disassemble the device and to have a look. We won't take long with the disassembly process as we have videos on this topic on our YouTube channel. We can notice that the battery connector is loose, so be careful with these devices. Next, we'll remove all the connectors and the two coaxial cables. In this way, we'll take the motherboard out of the chassis. It's essential not to forget to remove the SIM tray. Once we've extracted the motherboard, we'll connect it to the power Z. By my point of view, this tool is indispensable in a mobile repair workshop. With power Z, you can perfectly understand the faults of the motherboard. The Power Z KM001 is an innovative and sophisticated portable USB power tester, specially designed for professional and electronics enthusiasts seeking to evaluate and monitor the performance of electronic devices and power suppliers such as chargers, power banks, phones, tablets and laptops. This compact and lightweight device features a higher resolution 1 inch OLED display, making real time data viewing and function navigation easy. The Power Z is compatible with multiple charging protocols, including PD, QC 2.0, QC 3.0, Apple 2.4, Samsung IFC, and Huawei FCP, CCP, allowing for a wide range of application and compatibility testing. Additionally, it offers a manual detection and trigger function for added flexibility and control over testing processes. With its two USB-A input and output ports and two USB Type-C ports, the tester offers great versatility in terms of connectivity. It also includes a micro USB port for connecting to a computer, allowing for the use of custom software and exporting files from in-depth analyze of the collected data. The device provides accurate voltages and current measurements with ranges from 0.1 to 24 volts and 0 to 5 amperes respectively. An additional feature is the Apple MFI cable identification test useful for verifying the authenticity of the Apple cables. In our course for free we have talked a lot about the importance of this tool. In the description of this video I leave you the purchase link for this valuable tool. If you like this type of content please give it a strong like. Thank you. <laughs>
we can also observe two solder balls which may indicate overheating on the motherboard or that the device has been previously handled by another technical service. Over time, all this information help us to provide a better diagnosis. Now I'll connect the Type-C cable to check the device charging. We can observe an 80 mA charge, so let's leave it a little longer. Finally, the charge stabilizes at 1.8 amperes, which is an adequate charge for this device. Without having a new spare part screen, I already know that the device works. I only need a screen to perform all the checks. We are going to use a new screen part to see if our device turns on. Now we have to inform our customer that the screen doesn't work and needs to be replaced. Guys, he's Leonardo. This was today's video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye bye.